Good morning again everyone and welcome back to the KSR YouTube channel. Ooh, I got breakfast in my hands for the guys. I was the last one in this morning because I uh, I was on breakfast duty. But we are rolling into Road America. Uh, well, we're not rolling, we're walking. Road America. We have qualifying early this morning. So we got a few changes to make to the car after watching some data last night. I had to park out in the crew lot just because it was there's no parking on the inside even though we might could have squeezed in around the rig but anyways we're gonna go get started on working on the car getting prepared for our qualifying this morning you guys a little bit of what we look at for uh, data in the Trans Am car and see if I can get the glare off there so the top line is lateral acceleration so that's the g-forces left to right the longitudinal acceleration that's four and a half and then we look at combined g-forces on this line and then there's our speed and then the bottom line is for when we're comparing different laps. Let's see, I'll bring up another lap. So you can see this is the difference in lap times. So you can kind of tell where you where you really screw up or where you're better. Like this lap here, you can see we were actually way better for the first part of the lap. And then we did something wrong and slowed down quite a bit. So we look at all kinds of different things like that, plus video to check the line. And I was up pretty late last night just analyzing some stuff, decided to make a few changes this morning. And now we've got a, another fresh set of tires on. a TA class car and they are 850 to 900 horsepower pretty light compared to our cars they got bigger tires complete tube chassis deal you know carbon Kevlar bodies but we're ready to go out and uh, make our qualifying run so we should have some lap time data for you guys on this qualifying run as well as the track map but uh, should be a pretty good session we hope see just how much everybody was sandbagging if anybody was sandbagging we think people were sandbagging we might have sandbagged a little bit during some of the practices but hopefully we can go quick, quicker than we did yesterday and then we'll have some more data to look at and then away we go so when it comes to the tire pressures and stuff you guys might not think about it but the front and rear tires are different sizes, so they build pressures at different rates. Another, another TA car. So, and it also matters if the track is more right turns or more left turns or how hard the right turns are versus the left turns. All of that matters and factors in on how much the tires build pressure. So these new tires will probably build well, the lefts are probably going to build about 12 pounds. The rears, the rears will build 12. The fronts will build somewhere around 10. And we're trying to plan to have the tires, you know, somewhere 30 pounds ish. So what we have to do is we actually have to every single tire on the car is a different tire pressure when it leaves and heads onto the track. And the goal is that all of the tires are at equal pressure when the car after the car makes you know three laps and then that third lap is the lap you completely send it on for your qualifying run and then you, you use the fourth lap as your backup just in case you know just in case uh you get held up on your third lap or you have a mistake or something like that but all kinds of little things that factor into running one of these cars it's just a little different you know, definitely different than drag car stuff where you just set the tire pressures the same front and rear and send it on down the track. So we're gonna get this thing loaded up, 
see if we can go make a qualifying run and hopefully hopefully do a little better than we did yesterday we ended up third come on baby crank up there we go what thank you for a ride for qualifying and that'll be the end of the day so see you guys in just a minute
you guys enjoyed the onboard video. Now we're gonna go through tech again. Now we head back to tech and then prepare for tomorrow. So successful trip through tech. No major issues there. None of the other guys had any issues with tech. So officially we qualify third. And new for 2021, they are merging the TA cars with our cars on the start. So we qualified with a 218.1. Anybody slower than a 218.1 in the Trans Am field will be behind us which doesn't sound like a big deal, but the TA cars, they're really powerful and they're very light. So they have massive straightaway speeds. So it makes things really interesting because mostly our cars are much lower powered and they're heavier, but the, X, the, the real good SGT drivers just hustle the corners and the braking zone a lot harder. So it makes the starts very hectic. So tomorrow's race, will be very interesting especially the start until kind of everything gets spread out a little bit and the top four cars in our class are within a second so it should be pretty exciting to start the race hopefully we can pick off a few of them early usually the vipers the viper starts pretty strong and i usually set up the car a little bit more mildly just to uh, try and keep the tires under the car for the whole run like we raced for 100 miles and that's kind of what the what the what our races all are depending on uh cautions and stuff like that today or tomorrow we're going to be bound by the nascar time schedule so it may be a little bit less miles than that and we will likely get lapped at least once by the ta leaders and the ta car is what sets the start and the finish of the race so well, all right so everything looks pretty good in the data we could tell that we picked up some gains early in the track but they had had an oil down uh, from turn 11 through turn 12 and there was still a lot of oil dry on the track so we gained about three quarters of a second early in the lap but then we lost more than three quarters of a second in the slippery corners but going to go ahead and put some new brake pads on the front of the car and see if we can have a little bit thicker of a brake pad for tomorrow dylan and drew are in here bleeding the brakes all done can you even hear with that hair on your head i mean I can't hear. you can't hear well i mean i don't listen but i physically can hear silly drew so drew races circle track himself and Danger Ranger 9000? Yeah. You wish? If I could, I would. If I had a Ranger, we'd be going. Someone donates you a Ranger. Someone if donates someone him a donates Ranger. A Ranger. If we're going and we're winning. Uh -huh. If not, <laughs> oh, we're you, you. You raced Freedom Factory years ago, right? I did. I've actually won that. I did uh, skid plate racing, which you take a front wheel drive car, yeah. you put metal skis on the back. Nice. And. Uh, I came back from three quarters of a lap down. My car would not start. Oh. We took the green, the car died, and I drove back to one of We're just full of talent on, on the KSR channel, so you never know what we're going to do. But uh, that's going to wrap up today's video. Appreciate you guys following along, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.